Hi, it's Ken Feinstein with the Midcom Service Group. As part of our value-added services to our customers, we put together a short series of videos to help you perform basic maintenance on your printers without costing you any money. We hope you find these videos helpful. Next, we're going to install the internal rewind option. The first thing you should do when installing any option is to turn off your printer to avoid burning out the circuit boards. The internal rewinder can be used with a peel and present applicator to rewind label backing, or it can be used to rewind printed labels for future use. First, let's install the rewinder, then discuss your rewind options. Using a screwdriver, remove the backing plate. Using the three screws that came with the rewinder, attach the mechanism to the printer. When using the rewinder with the peel and present option, feed five labels through the printer and peel off the labels. Lay the backing inside the peel and present and close the latch. Then using the media clasp, secure the backing to the spindle and turn until the labels are taut. Close the printhead and lock in place. Turn your printer back on. Press the menu button and scroll down to printer options. Hit the enter and scroll down to rewind and hit enter again. Select mode and enter. Then select either automatic or enable and enter. Press exit and save changes. Print a test label to make sure the rewinder is installed correctly. If you are using the rewinder to roll printed labels, you'll need to install the three inch roll adapter. Insert a paper core and the media retainer. Then attach the arc plate to the front of your printer instead of the peel and present mechanism. Load the labels, run the labels around the arc plate, and attach the labels to the core with a small piece of tape. You can print a test label to make sure it is installed correctly. 